Hey, this is Mikey here with another After Effects tutorial. Now, in this tutorial, I want to do teeth whitening. So I've got some footage here, and this lady had just got done with a makeover, a makeup makeover by the talented Robert Jones from the Robert Jones Beauty Academy. Now, I don't expect that most of my viewers and followers are going to be into makeup or makeup tutorials. Um, I just happen to edit and film most of the videos for his channel. Now, if you are, feel free to go check out his channel. You can just click on the link right here. So, when I film this, I wanted a warmer skin tone and an overall warmer tone. And to do that, I adjusted the white balance accordingly. And because of that, the teeth did not turn out as white as I want. So now I want to whiten the teeth in After Effects. So as I kind of scrub through this, you can see that she's moving, so I can't really just whiten it like you would a photo in Photoshop. I need to do some tracking. So first off, before I track anything, I always pre-compose my footage. So I'm going to pre-compose. Let's name the footage just the talent. Okay. And the reason why I pre-compose is because you never know if you need to apply any sort of filter like exposure, contrast, or sharpening in order to get a better track. If there's something that's kind of hard to track and you want to really amp up the contrast in order to get a better track, you can only do that if you first pre-compose and then you apply the filter in this composition, go back, and then track the pre-composition, if that makes sense. And I'll show you how to do that later on. But first, I want to do just a basic track. So I want to track for the mouth. So I need some parts that aren't going to move a lot. OK, so I want to track the motion, the position, and the rotation. And how these trackers work, let's kind of move them around is this point in the very center is where it applies the tracking data to. So it needs a very specific point, not a general area, because it applies it to the position. Now this out, this inner bounding box is what it is looking for to track. And the outer bounding box is where it is looking for. So I need to find a spot or two spots on her face in order to track. And so I can kind of scrub through, and I need to find places that don't really move around a lot independently of each other. So you can see her eyebrows are moving up. Her lips are kind of moving. So I need something that's a little bit more stable. So right here, maybe on her nose, right there. Let's see how those look. Up here is probably a better spot. So I'm going to be looking for this. Now, since her head is mostly moving side to side and not so much up and down, I want the outer bounding box to be more wide than it is tall. If her head was moving up and down more, then I'd want the outer bounding box to be more tall. Okay. I've got these points set and let's hit track. Now when I track footage, I always keep my hand on the space bar just in case the track goes awry and I need to stop it and make some adjustments and then continue the track. Oh, see, like that right there. So let's back up. And let's move this. And maybe... Okay. Now let's continue forward. Okay. Let's take a look at that. And it seems to be there's a little bit of problem with the track. So this is where, because I pre-composed, comes in handy. So let's go into the pre-composition and let's add curves adjustment. And what I want to do is I want to increase the contrast so that the tracker has a better time tracking. Trackers are based off of 
pixels. It doesn't know what it is. All it sees is colors and contrast. And so if I can increase the contrast in the tracker, now see when I come back in here and add a track to it, it keeps that curves adjustment on there. Okay, let's put those points back in and let's try this new track with this new effect on it. Already this track is looking better. Now, with this example, I don't need a perfect track because I'm going to lightly apply an adjustment layer to the teeth area and I'm going to feather out the mask so it's it doesn't need to be perfect but I still like to have a good track. Okay. That's looking a lot better. So every time I do a track I like to apply it to a null object. So I'm going to layer new null object. Let's name this nose track and apply let's apply the track let's make sure that the target is applied to nose track click OK and let's apply OK now we go back into let's go back in here and turn off these curves and you can see that null object is right there applied to the nose. Okay. So after that I can go in and delete the tracker on this footage and just use this null object. I'm going to hide it so that red square isn't there. Now let's do a new adjustment layer and let's parent to the nose. What I want to do now is take my pen tool and let's mask around the teeth. You don't have to be perfect. And let's grab my curves adjustment and let's work on whitening the teeth. So first let's just brighten it overall. Then let's go into the blue, add some blue. Maybe add a little bit of green. You don't want to go overboard. Now you can see her mouth has moved around a little bit. That's pretty good. So I want to go into the mask and let's feather the mask. Let's take a look at this, the difference here. See, it's just very subtle, but it makes a big difference. So let's go to the part where she closes her mouth and let's fix that. Okay, right here. Now you can see as she closes her mouth, the adjustment layer is still there, making changes to her lips. And we don't want that. So let's go into the mask and let's adjust the expansion. So I'm going to just click on expansion and right here then let's bring this down. Now let's go forward in time where she opens her mouth again. About here. Let's click the keyframe. and then bring it to zero. Okay, so now we can see 
as she closes her mouth and then as she opens it again the colors are still there so that's just a quick and simple way to do a track and whiten someone's teeth now I didn't go too complex into things there's lots more you can do you can whiten brighten eyes you can get rid of blemishes with uh, a similar technique so if you have any questions feel free to ask just put them in the comments underneath this video and if you like the video please share it that would be great I know there's lots of people out there that may be wondering how to do this exact same thing so thanks for watching and we'll see you next time